American press baron William Randolph Hearst was considered by many to be the inspiration for Citizen Kane. Tonight at five past eight on BBC Two, Hugh Scully tells the incredible story of how the debt-ridden tycoon was forced to sell his priceless antiques at bargain prices. This is a trip back to the beginning of our century, to the moment when history was first caught by the moving pictures. It's the story of early filmmaking and of the first movies and their audiences. Everywhere, people were fascinated by this last and most magical invention of the age of machines. Terry Gilliam presents The Last Machine, part of BBC Two's Cinema Century season, starting Saturday at 8. Job hunting, tough in the 90s. Yes! Yeah, that's better! Eight first interviews out of 24 applications. But we'll be there from the situation vacant to the vacancy filled. Going behind the scenes. Mr White, it was slightly irritating. A little bit sloppy. Easy, easy. Could you pick the best person for the job? I do call for the smiler. Or maybe some job winning tips. Different coloured socks this morning. Six situations vacant, from advertising to the Albert Hall. Interviews start Thursday at 9.45 on BBC Two. On BBC Two now, acclaimed scriptwriter Andrew Davis explains the secret of his success and pulls no punches on the state of modern drama in the Hugh Weldon Memorial Lecture. This year, the Hugh Weldon Lecture is presented by Andrew Davis, one of Britain's most successful television writers. His most recent work includes the award-winning BBC dramatisation of George Eliot's Middlemarch, critically acclaimed both here and in America. When have I ever consulted my own pleasure before yours? Oh, Dorothea, you are hasty. No, it is you who are hasty in your false suppositions about my feelings. Well, let us say no more upon this subject. I have neither the leisure nor the energy for this kind of debate. His original television drama includes Filipino dream girls. You mean in England, everyone is having sex all the time? <coughs> no, not exactly all the time. Because I'm wondering, if you're having so much sex in England, why do you come such a long way to meet Filipino girls? Ball trap on the coat Savage. Hello! Hello, 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 hello! Right! Ah, well and the hugely successful series, A Very Peculiar Practice. So it's a bit embarrassing, is it? Below the waist, I take it. That's right, yes. Front or back? Uh, front. Front only. Sure? I do know the difference. You must be one of our more able students. In addition to Middlemarch, Davis has scripted a number of other major TV adaptations. Uh, Professor Middleton? Uh, morning, Charlotte. Morning. I'm in rather a hurry. Well, excuse me for existing, I'm sure. My grandmother's very well, seeing as you ask. Oh, good. Um, we'll tell her I'll call in one of these days. Oh, that's nice. Lucky she's such a patient old lady. The thinking woman's Harry Seacum, or whatever it is you're trying to set yourself up to be. No talent of your own. So you hang on to Braden's shirt tails, and he was another little Welsh windbag, but at least he delivered. When? I don't know. She's talking no, about you don't, right? do you? You wouldn't, would you? You shagged out pocket cuffing over. You poor man's Don Juan. You don't know. You'll never know. Okay. Evie, would it be very selfish of me to ask you to do my shopping at Salisbury this morning? 
Not at all. I'd like that. Perhaps, uh... Perhaps I could, uh... Uh... That, that you could what, Rory? He also dramatised the Michael Dobbs novel, House of Cards, and its sequel, To Play the King. Thank you.